For as long as humans have gazed skyward, the moon has always fascinated the inhabitants of Earth. In the 1950s, the Cold War between the then Soviet Union and the United States sparked a race to visit Earth's moon. Finally, the day which would mark the greatest feat ever achieved by humans came. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin took the first steps on the surface of the moon while astronaut Michael Collins orbited the moon in the command module Columbia. Since then, 12 astronauts have walked on the moon. There are innumerable pieces of evidence of the moon landings, including moon rock samples and thousands of photographs among many others. But in spite of this, moon landing conspiracy theories have persisted in the popular imagination, especially among the internet folks. There is a number of anomalies that the conspiracy theorists point out to in support of their argument. We'll try to debunk some of the most popular ones in this video, so brace yourself. First, the moon landing is fake because the US flag appears to be flapping in the air, but that should be impossible, as the moon has no atmosphere. Now this is the favorite argument of the moon landing was fake advocate. The simple answer to this question is, the flag isn't flapping. Before you roll your eyes, hear us out. The flag in the photo wasn't your common flag. Had the astronauts planted a regular flag on the moon, it would have hung slack, as flags do on Earth when there is no wind. This wouldn't have made for a very appealing photo, so NASA designed special flags for astronauts. These flags had a horizontal rod inside to make them stick out from the flagpole. The Apollo 11 astronauts had trouble extending the rod all the way. And this created the ripple effect that made the flag look like it was waving in the wind in this photo. Ta-da! It's that simple. Second, why aren't there any stars in the sky? There is a very simple answer to this one. Stars aren't visible because they are too faint. Both the astronauts and the lunar scape itself are brightly lit by the sun. The sky may look black, but remember, this is in fact daytime on the moon. If you're going to take a photo of a brightly lit scene, your camera's shutter speed needs to be fast and your aperture incredibly small. In that situation, faint objects like stars simply aren't going to show up. Third. Why don't Neil Armstrong's space boots match the footprints he left on the moon? Actually, you can see from other images of the Apollo 11 moonwalk that the astronauts were wearing lunar overshoes, aka moon boots, on top of the shoe part of their spacesuits. These boots do match the pattern of the footprint image. Fourth, the dumbest argument ever given by conspiracy theorists is related to the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. The movie wowed audiences in 1968 for creating a realistic image of outer space. It was so compelling that some conspiracy theorists later wondered if the government had actually hired a movie director to film the moon landing in a soundstage. The thing is, the moon landing footage didn't look real because Kubrick filmed it. Kubrick's movie 2001 looked real because Kubrick hired actual astronomical artists and aerospace engineers to help him with the shooting of the movie. The moon landing was not just for entertainment, even if hundreds of millions of people did watch it. It was rather a huge opportunity for science. These myths have been debunked by actual scientists and astronauts a number of times in the last few decades. Nevertheless, moon landing conspiracy theorists continue to label moon landing as a hoax. So do we have any real evidence that moon landing did in fact happen? Well, turns out, yes we do. For starters, more than 410,000 Americans worked on Apollo on behalf of 20,000 companies. Was their work fake? Were they all on the conspiracy? You have to be really delusional to believe that. There's physical evidence too. Hundreds of kilograms of moon rocks have been brought back from the moon. And to date, not a single scientist who studied them has suggested they aren't real. In fact, you can check for yourself if the moon landing was real. Yes, you heard us right! 
group of scientific instruments were sent up with the mission to learn more about the moon, and some of these were left behind. Amongst the instruments left on the moon were mirror-like lunar laser battery reflectors and anyone with the right equipment can bounce lasers off. This is one of the solid proofs that denounces that conspiracy is revolving around moon landing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of science.